breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Criminals now hiding under cover of freedom fighters. Help me flush them out. Saludo begs, I pop ESN. Criminals now hiding under cover of freedom fighters. Help me flush them out. Saludo begs, I pop ESN. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. Criminals now hiding under cover of freedom fighters. Help me flush them out. Saludo Bergs, I pop ESN. Welcome to X Square Vols blog. The most welcome in trending and recent. Newly inaugurated governor of a number of states, Professor Chukuma Soludo, has called on the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB and its armed group, Eastern Security Network, ESN, to come out of the forest and join him deal with the problem of unknown gunmen. If they are not part of them, Soludo was speaking in his inaugural speech after he was sworn in as the governor of a number of states at the state government house, Aoka. Soludo takes over from former governor, Willie Obiano who leaves office after eight years. The Anambra governor noted that besides the environment, the fundamental existential threat to Anambra states and indeed Igbo land is that of peace building and law and order. He maintained that the states cannot build a prosperous and a livable homeland by turning the sword against each other, adding that a number of people love their homeland but the recent upsurge in criminality poses a great threat. According to him, every criminal gang, kidnappers, wicked murderers, arsonists, rapists, thieves, how now claim to be freedom fighters, warning that criminality cannot be sugar-coated. Soludo noted that all stakeholders in the state and the southeast must now review both the narrative and the action plan for the secessionist agitations. For starters, I endorse the recent statement, March 7, 2022, by the joint body of Southeast Council of Traditional Rulers and Bishops, Archbishops on Peace and Conflict Resolution, requesting for a tripartite discussion between them, the Presidency and Southeast Governors, to deal with the conflict in the Southeast especially in relation to Unamdekano and the indigenous people of the Afro IPOB and the Eastern Security Network, ESN. There is no conflict that dialogue in good faith cannot resolve. Our government is determined to urgently restore peace and security in Anambra, and we will seek the active cooperation and collaboration of all stakeholders, he said. Soludo advised the IPO of an ESN, the movement for the actualization of sovereign state of Biafra, Masov, as well as the disparate armed groups in the forest. That it is time to interrogate both the purpose 
and means of their campaign. He also warned politicians playing politics with the insecurity that the current trajectory is a road to desolation, harping on the need to get around the table and talk. Let the allies in the closet come out and let's debate our future and forge a consensus. The conspiracy of silence by the allied and some community leaders must end. If you see something, say or do something. Securing Igbo land and Nigeria must be our collective responsibility. Let those in the forest come out, surrender their guns, and let's work together to rehabilitate and empower you to contribute positively to the peace and prosperity of our homeland, Soludo suggested. On the Monday seat at home, the Anambra governor said, the state loses an estimated 19.6 billion every week to the action, not counting the deprivation of academic hours which school children suffer. Noting that there is need for genuine agitation, for fairness, justice, equity and equality in the Nigerian Federation. The governor pointed out that Igbos must refuse to turn their homeland into a crime scene and all manners of criminality, opining that no group has ever succeeded in any struggle in history by turning the sword against themselves. A significant part of our state economy is powered by artisans, keke drivers, vulcanizers, yardraisers, cart pushers, petty traders, bricklayers, women frying akara and all those who depend upon daily toil and sweat to feed their family. Every day, there is a seat at home. These poor masses lose an estimated 90.6 billion naira in Anambra alone. Due to the protracted breakdown of law and order, businesses are relocating outside Igbo land with growing unemployment and traders who used to come to shop in Onisha, Aba, etc. are going elsewhere. Who is losing? By forcing our children, the future of Igbo land to stay at home, instead of being in school, while even the critically sick people, including pregnant women, cannot go to hospital, we harm our future, he emphasized. Soludo continued, I hereby challenge any of the disparate groups that claims that it is not part of the senseless killings and kidnappings to step out and show leadership by joining ends with us to do something about it. If you love our homeland, there is no place for bloodshed. Our Lord Jesus Christ admonished in Matthew 26 verse 52, put your sword back in the shed. For all who live by the sword will die by the sword. In the traditional religion, the land places a curse upon those who spill the blood of the innocent. That is why I call on all of us today to join hands with me to execute the real agenda, a livable and prosperous homeland of opportunities and jobs for our youth while maximizing the benefit of a united Nigerian Africa. With Owanese's estimate that some 11.6 million Igbos live in the north and over, mil over 7 million in Lagos State 
and over 70 percent of our non-land assets scattered all over nigeria and the world we need nigeria and nigeria needs us we need africa and the world and they need us I promise to work hard with other governors and leaders in the Southeast and others to take your agitations to the table of all Nigeria. And we hope to bargain for a win win soludo for all Nigeria. I will engage all parties to the breakdown of peace and order in Anambra from a point of determination to solve problems and resolve this agreement with opponent, integrity, equity, and justice. I will absolutely invest my political capital within our state, our east, our southeast, and with the presidency, federal government, and its establishment as a matter of topmost priority. With good faith and hard work by all parties, I am convinced that justice, peace, and Hoda will return to Anambra and the Southeast within the shortest possible.